everybody, welcome back to Pages and Pens. My name is Julie and I am here with my, oh my goodness, it's April, TBR. So I am going to put this up on April 1st and I initially thought I might try to do some like crazy April Fools, will I keep doing this channel, should I change it, you know, type of a joke. And then I realized, no, nah, I'm not gonna play that. You guys know I'm not going anywhere. So it would have been clickbait and it would have been just, I'm not gonna do it. It's not gonna happen. I usually do wine chats on the weekends. Today, it's not gonna happen. Um, homesick today, it's Tuesday, and the thought of sitting down at any point when I feel this way and having wine and talking was not gonna happen. I also just have limited energy to sit up and actually do anything. So I'm gonna let you guys know what I'm going to be reading for April, as well as my readathon that I will be taking part in for April, which I will have a separate TBR for on Monday. First up, I will be participating in the Tome Topple. The Tome Topple is from April 7th to the 20th. It is two full weeks to allow you to read large 500 page plus books. I have two books potentially on that TBR for the two weeks, but I am sure I will probably read a third, maybe, hopefully. I don't wanna tell you what those books are because I want you to see them on Monday, but just know that I have a couple books and I'm very, very excited for them. I will also start off by letting you guys know which book we will be reading in the Buddy Read group. And I will be starting today, on Saturday, on the 1st, I will be starting this book. So if you're interested in reading this with me, you can head to that link and you can chat with me about the book. If you've already read this book, that's fine. You guys can still chat about it in the comment sections and you're still more than welcome to join our live show. So the live show for this book will be April 29th and it will be at 6.45 Eastern Standard Time. We have had to change the time because of work schedules for the girls, but we will be talking about An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. And I'm super excited for this book. It's been a long time. This was in my very first book haul and I still haven't read it. If you've already read it, you can reread it with us. If you've already read it and you don't wanna reread it, you can just chat about it with us in the comments. Or if you've never read this and you would like to, we will be starting to read this on April 1st, probably together in my buddy read group. But if you don't have time to read it the first of the month, that's fine. You can read it afterwards, anytime between, before the 29th. I will be reading this quickly because I want to get it done before the tome topple on the 7th. So I'll be starting this on the 1st and hopefully running through it rather quickly, but we will see. Siege and Storm, which I'm actually reading right now. Today is the 28th and I'm homesick. So the chance that I run through this before April starts, pretty high, honestly, but I also have Ruin and Rising. So if I finish this one, I will move on to the third one, but my goal for April is to finish this series. I will be starting a new series for Tome Topple. So I'll be reading the first book of a series for Tome Topple, and it has to be over 500 pages. If you think you can guess what series I will be starting for Tome Topple on the 7th, that the first book is over 500 pages, comment down below and let me know if you think you know what it is. I am happy to report that I really enjoyed the first book. I'm just really excited that I finally picked it up. You guys recommended me to read this one next. I got sucked into the School for Good and Evil series and never got around to it. And then I read Shadow and Bone in one day. I'm holding this up as a signifier for the rest of the series. I will move on to the third book as well in April. And I'm really, really excited that I picked it up. Also, I'm in love with this cover. This color is like everything. Then I am officially starting my reread of Wicked Lovely. I will be reading this in April. I am super excited to reread this. I think that this might actually be a good like second book while I'm doing Tome Topple and focusing on other larger books. Since I have already read this story, I don't think I'm going to need to be like super engrossed in it, but I do wanna start the reread for this and then whether or not I read the next book is up in the air. We're gonna see how things go with the series that I start in the Tome Topple and also with getting through the third book for the Grisha trilogy, but I will at least be reading this one. So this is Wicked Lovely, by Marissa Marr. And then because I have the Tome Topple and a series that I'm starting and a series that I hope to finish and the book for the book club, I wanted to give myself something a little bit lighter and I'm trying to do a graphic novel or a manga or something like that every month. So I will be reading Orange by Ichigo Takano and I started this but I have not finished this and I don't even know if I have a bookmark in here. I don't. So I'll probably just start over from the beginning. This one is about a girl who gets a note from herself or her future self letting her know that the new boy at school is somebody that she should protect. She can potentially stop him from dying 
dying. This one is apparently phenomenal and super emotional. I do have the second volume, so if I feel compelled, I may continue on. I am not gonna do a classic for this month. I read Peter Pan and The Secret Garden last month in March, which you'll see in my wrap up. So I read the both of them and I'm gonna count that. So I'm giving myself a pass on a classic for this month and then I will probably be reading The Time Machine by H.G. Wells next month because I have that as well. And that's my loose TBR for the month. Now I am sure that there will be audiobooks in there. I am sure that I might throw in a continuation of the Wicked Lovely series, a continuation of Orange, a continuation of my series that I'm starting during the Tome Topple. So there's options for me to continue on and add a lot more books to this TBR, but I want to give myself a little bit of freedom, especially coming off of a reading slump. I just don't want to pressure myself right now. I want to continue to enjoy reading as much as I have been lately. So I want to throw a quick thank you out to everybody who has submitted questions for my BookTube 101 or starting a BookTube channel. If you have not already and you're interested in knowing an answer to a question that you have about BookTube, definitely leave it down below. Hopefully you guys have already watched my bookshelf scavenger hunt tag. I can't say that. Um, if you haven't, I will link it up above. But I did ask you guys in that video to please leave me in the comments an artist and a song title that you're interested in me doing the playlist book tag with. I think it would be so much fun to use your song suggestions to do the playlist book tag. I am always looking for new music, new artists, new songs to fall in love with. So if you have a favorite or just a song or an artist that you think would be really fun for me to just listen to and do the playlist book tag, definitely leave it down below. Don't tell me what book you think it should go to. Just suggest a song and an artist and I will make a playlist out of those and use those for my viewer recommends playlist book tag, which I'm really excited about. So definitely leave any questions for my booktube 101 and any song and artist recommendations down there for those particular videos. Also, I am so enthralled and so excited about all of the interest in the traveling book. I am so loving it. The book has already gone out for the first set of four ladies and it has already gone from the first lady to the second and I cannot wait to get it back in my hands and give it a read and show it to you guys. If you are interested, in joining the traveling book and buddy reading with a couple of other bookish friends from my channel, please do leave me down below your name and email or name and Twitter address. But I need you to tell me that information. Don't just say you're interested. I need to be able to build up the spreadsheet. I will probably be reaching out to the people for another round soon because I can then time it so that I'm not getting the books too close to one another. By like the second week of April, I will have the second round of people being contacted. So keep an eye on either your emails or your Twitter private messages because I will be group messaging or group emailing everybody to let them know that they have been selected and then to start selection on the book that I will be sending out. The interest has been amazing and I think I've got enough for like eight or nine different rounds. If you're interested, leave that information down below as well and I will be sure to add you to the list and look in the next two weeks for a notification for me that you've been selected and that we will be going on to the next round of participants for the traveling book. I think that's been everything as far as updates, reminders, and TBRs go. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a big thumbs up, click subscribe, and I will see all of you in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.